What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Our Dallas Cowboys today, we not talking about practice. No, 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 no practice. Not games, not even practice, because they have a day off, a well-deserved day off, and um, they'll be back on the field tomorrow as they get ready uh, to go against Denver uh, to work out with them and then have their first scrimmage next Saturday. So we are less than a week away from our first scrimmage. Don't expect to see Zeke or Dak or probably CeeDee Lamb playing in any preseason games. It's just not going to happen. Uh, teams now literally keep players in bubble wrap to, to get them to the season, and that's it. Now, I am going to ask a question that this is a thought provoking question. This is not meant for you to come back and say, you know, to, to start hating on people. Okay. This is just a legitimate question to make you go, hmm, I didn't think about that. Okay. But I'm going to ask this question Would we think Russell Wilson is a great quarterback if you took away the Super Bowl championship? I'm, I'm being hypothetical here. I'm being hypothetical here because, I, and, and let me let me preface it this and say that Russell Wilson is one of the best quarterbacks in football. Russell Wilson is magical on the field because what happens is people will say, I am belittling other quarterbacks to try and make mine look good. No, 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 no. I'm actually trying to show you the elevation of where Dak belongs versus others. Okay, so here's the thing. If you say Russell Wilson, Dak Prescott, you're going to say, man, how can you even come out your mouth with that statement? But I'm going to say without the Super Bowl win in 2013, we would probably look at Russell Wilson more like Tony Romo. And I know that's going to really piss some people off. But think about it for a second. Romo had the bobble in Seattle of the snap in the playoffs, right? Shit happens. How is that worse than Russell Wilson's interception, the second Super Bowl around? Both of them cost him the game. Both of them, them or you look at and say, don't. But here's the thing that's interesting. Because if you take the 2013 season of the Seattle Seahawks, okay? Now, again, try and have an open mind. I know some of y'all are cussing me out right now, but but try and have an open mind. I want you to understand something because, you know, all the talking heads are forever going to say that, you know, it's all about just the quarterback, you know? But if it is, and Russell Wilson and Aaron Rodgers are two of the best quarterbacks in football, how come it hasn't been since 2013 that either of them won a Super Bowl? If it's only about the quarterback, Right. Aaron Rodgers was Super Bowl, I mean, excuse me, NFL MVP. They didn't get past the 49ers either. But we're not talking about Aaron Rodgers right now. We're talking about the Seattle Seahawks. So let's look at the 2013 season. And I dare say that that season wasn't exactly the best of Russell Wilson, but they were Super Bowl champions. What I want you to pay attention down here to is this. I want you to understand that they had the number one defense in scoring defense, in yards, and in takeaways. They got short fields. They got a lot of turnovers. They kept the points down low. All things that help your quarterback. So how did Russell Wilson do that season? If we go down, this is Russell Wilson's second year. And again, I'm not saying this to disparage Russell Wilson. But if you look at the numbers of what he did that season, 63.1 completion percentage, okay, 3,357 yards, it's kind of pedestrian, 26 TDs, it's not actually a whole lot. You know, I know that uh, uh, Philly 500 is hoping that Jalen Hurts will get 25, but 25 is is about average nine interceptions but here's the other thing that also went along with russell wilson 
beast mode, 1,257 yards. So the number one defense you had completely in every category, you had a running back who was lights out in beast mode who could ground and pound, average 4.2 yards. Mind you, that's what Zeke actually averaged last year, by the way. Just saying. For those that are saying that Zeke's washed up, he averaged 4.2. But be that as it may. You had a great running game, ball control defense that gets you the football, and a quarterback that threw for 3,300 yards and 26 TDs. Now, again, that's in the bus driver category of yardage. As Jenna Wolf said, well, Dak, he needs all those pieces. Well, apparently, Russell Wilson needs all those pieces, too. Because if we look at Russell Wilson since then, Russell Wilson has become, you know, one of the best of the best, you know, 3,100 yards, 3,300 yards, 3,400 yards, you know, he went to two Super Bowls, but I hate to say it, it was on the back of the defense. After that, you know, 4,000 yards, 34 TDs. 4,200 yards, 21 TDs, 3,900. So you look at these numbers and say, okay, yeah, those are great numbers. But here's the funny thing. Only one season has Russell Wilson had more touchdown passes than Dak has. Only one is most. Yardage-wise, believe it or not, Dak has two seasons throwing for more yards than Russell Wilson. Does that at least make you go, hmm? Now, we would probably be talking about things differently if Russell Wilson didn't have the stupid throw in the second Super Bowl. Stupid throw! Hurts to pass. Throws. Pick. Horrible pass. Oh, my God. Yeah, a stupid throw. Um, yeah, they should have just stuck to beast mode and ran it in. Then he'd have two Super Bowl rings, and there wouldn't be any doubt whatsoever. But I'm not saying, again, let me go back to this. I'm not saying this to say Russell Wilson is a bad quarterback. He's one of the best. But my point being is, unless you have the other parts that come together, unless you have a defense that doesn't give up all the runs. It doesn't give up a lot of points. That gets you the football. And if you don't have a running game, you end up with what you have with Russell Wilson in the last few years, which is like 40 TDs, 13 interceptions, 4,200 yards, and a team that's not going anywhere. You have to have everything to win. The chances of winning a Super Bowl are slim and none. You have to understand that you have to have all of this working together to get there. Can't be, I just got a great quarterback, so automatically going to win the Super Bowl. Well, like Roger Staubach said, without Drew Pearson catching the passes, it doesn't mean anything. So, with that being said, I'm going to see you guys in a, about an hour and a half for our Sunday live stream. Peace. <laughs>